All right, so the brand new update for Injustice 2 Mobile just came out, and we got a lot of different things to talk about, all right? But first, let's go check our inbox, because that's when we get the messages to see what's going on. So the first message is going to talk about Martian Manhunter, and it says Martian Manhunter revealed. Uh, legendary Martian Manhunter is coming to Injustice 2 Mobile on October 16th. Get ready to take on your battles to the next level with increased fast attack chance and additional fast attack hits from each negative effect applied to his opponents. Watch Martian Manhunter's gameplay reveal. Okay, so the next message says, Upgraded Artifact System. We're going to check this out in one second because I am really excited about this, but let's read the message first. Okay, so it says, Artifacts just got stronger. Similar to gear, Artifacts can now be powered up with a variety of unique chance effects. Use Artifact Reforge tokens to reroll Artifact chance effects. Need more Artifact material or reforges? Grab the new Artifact material and reforge chest that contains up to 8,000 Apocalypse or up to 10,000 Azor Artifact Fragments, or up to 50 Artifact Reforges today. Okay, so again, we're going to talk about this in one second because I am really excited about this. Uh, the next message says, uh, new, free, new free daily pack. Grab the new daily pack for free. It contains a random reward with a chance to get gems, gear material, gear reforges, and more. Available every 24 hours in the store. Okay, so I already collected mine. Mine gave me 50 gear material, so it's really not that much. So I'm assuming if you get gear reforges, you're probably just going to get like one or two. And if you get gems, you're probably just going to get five. It's not that much, but it is free, so you can't really complain. Uh, anyways, the final message... The 4.0 bug fixes and improvements. Oh boy. Let's see what they have to say. As always, we have crushed more bugs and made more performance improvements in this update. Effect rarities are now displayed on gear chance effect rerolls, and the interface for gear and artifacts have been improved. One of the biggest improvements is the ability to upgrade gear and artifacts multiple levels at a time. Okay, that last part. Being able to upgrade gears, you know, multiple levels at a time. I really like that. That's going to save us so much time. But everything else, we're just going to have to wait and see how the game actually performs. Because every single update, they say that they fix the bugs. But then a brand new bug comes and it ruins the game even more. So we're just going to have to wait and see if, you know, the game is actually running better. Anyways, when I first logged into the game, the very first thing that I noticed is the free gems at the top right. So let's go check that out. This is actually kind of cool. Okay, so it says get five gems, and it's called Joker's Pair of Gems, and it says watch video. So this is actually really simple. You basically watch an ad, and then you get free gems. I watched an ad about Call of Duty Mobile, and it was 30 seconds long, and I got five gems. It's not that much, but it is free, so I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. Anyways, the more interesting one is the one towards the right, because it says Deadshot's Offer Wall, and it says Complete Offer. So what this does... Um, at least what it looks like is you go try out all of these different, you know, uh, apps or you go try out their memberships or something and then you get free gems for Injustice 2 Mobile. Like, for example, for uh, Billionaire Casino, which is that game I have at the top, it says earn multiple rewards for playing Billionaire Casino and you can get up to 10,000 gems. Now. I know that's a lot of gems, but keep in mind, first of all, it says up to 10,000 gems, so you're probably not actually going to make that many, but you can probably still make a lot. But the thing is that I'm assuming that if you want to get a lot of gems, you're going to have to play this game a lot, so you might as well just play Injustice 2 Mobile if you just want to get gems. But... If you are one of those people that play a lot of different, you know, mobile games, this is really going to benefit you because you're going to be able to play your different games and you're going to benefit in Injustice 2 Mobile. So I do like that idea. I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's go check out the chests. Uh, this one's called Artifact Material and Reforged Chest. It's the one that we read in the message. It says contains up to 8,000 Apocalypse or up to 10,000 Azor Artifact Fragments or up to 50 Artifact Reforges. Now, I know some of you are wondering... What the heck is an artifact reforged? And I'm about to show you, bro. This is really, really cool. Watch this. I'm going to show my arcane artifact because I got an I got an epic talent on that one. Watch. This is cool. Okay, so right there. We got the artifact. At the top right, it's got the base effect just like every other artifact has. And it's just regular. That's just the regular effect of the artifact. 
but towards the bottom it says chance effects and these are the brand new thing that came to the artifacts and this is what's making the game a little bit more interesting so basically what's going on is you can basically get you know gear talents or artifact talents like you can with the gear talents which is really really cool and you can get up to three but on top of that these new talents these new artifact talents are completely different from the other talents in the talents and the gear talents which is really really cool because it's going to make the game a lot more interesting you're not just trying to get attack or, or lethal attack chance or critical attack chance you're actually getting different things that can improve your characters like for example for this one again i got an epic talent and it gives me 27 percent dot damage that's really really cool if i really have a character that does a lot of dot damage this is obviously the epic talent that i want to get on that character it's going to be a little bit annoying i'm assuming because getting reforges is pretty hard but it does make the game interesting so i am happy about that uh let's go check out some other artifacts so for this one uh for the all blades level 10 so that's really cool i unlocked all of the gear gear effects or, or art i gotta stop calling it gear effects artifact effects because it's level 10 so for the first one i got 1400 health for the second one it's rare and it says 20 percent lethal attack damage again that is completely different from anything else in the game the only lethal attack in the in the rest of the game is just lethal attack chance but this one actually increases your damage so that's really really cool and then for the final one it's 15 percent damage for special three again that's completely different from anything else in the game and i really like that anyways aside from that uh, i'm not going to talk about this very much more because uh you guys can just go check out your own artifacts see what you got see what's brand new with the game i'm going to check out all of them a little bit later see if i got anything else that's epic the next thing that i want to check is the arena store i just want to know if they updated it no they didn't no they didn't that's a big rip boys damn Okay, so I checked all of the other game modes, and they didn't really update anything else. So the final thing that we have to talk about is exactly the same thing that we've been talking about for like the last two days. And that's Martian Manhunter. There he is right there. Whoa. Wait a minute. Okay, I know my audio was really low, so maybe you guys couldn't hear it. But that sounds exactly like the same lady from Injustice 1 Mobile that calls out the names. They might have just copied and pasted that, and I'm actually kind of okay with it. That's actually kind of nostalgic for me because I played a lot of Injustice 1. Anyways, the first passive is about fast attack, and it's called Martian Arts. 10% fast attack chance. I'm assuming that probably goes up to 50% when you get it up to level 5. And you get one fast attack hit per negative effect on the opponent, and it maxes out at five fast attack hits. Okay, I'm actually kind of happy that it maxes out, because otherwise it would be a little bit too OP, especially if you paired him up with the Multiverse team or the Batman Ninja team. So that's kind of cool. Uh, second passive gives you 25% duration on debuffs applied to the opponent by Martian Manhunter or his teammates, which is really cool because every single one of his special abilities does a buff towards the opponent, which is going to last a long time thanks to his passive too. I'm really happy about that. His last passive is generating health whenever he's tagged out. So kind of the same thing as Silver Cyborg. Nothing to complain about there. I really do like that passive. Let's go look at his special abilities. We already looked at these in the gameplay. Uh, video that we got today but whatever let's check him out a little bit more in depth uh prevent current opponent from swapping with another teammate for seven seconds ish i don't know why it's called swapping it, it should just be called tagging out because that's what it is uh martian manhunter attacks his opponents with a series of powerful punches which prevents them from tagging out yeah i don't know why they use the word swapping but whatever we understand what they mean so it's no big deal uh, the second one, this one is going to be probably my favorite special ability because it does a lot of damage towards tagged out opponents. Um, you guys can check it out in the last video that I posted. I talked about that a little bit more. Uh, but anyways, this says 15% of any damage additionally applied to tag out opponents affected by mental link. Okay, so I'm assuming that whenever you're doing damage to the current opponent that's tagged in, you're also going to be doing damage to, to the opponent that's being tagged out because of the special two. That's kind of the entire idea of the mental link. Um, anyways, it says 15% seconds of mental link debuff. Mental link, a portion of the damage dealt by Martian Manhunter, is also applied to all opponents currently suffering from mental link. Okay, yeah. So it's basically just splash damage. You can think about it splash damage, uh, but only for the characters that are being affected by special two. 
Um, after dealing damage, Martian Manhunter t temporarily applies Mental Link to his current opponent, then forces them to tag out. That's really, really cool. I really like that, man. That's definitely unique. I do like that. Uh, for the final special ability, we can't look at it because I don't have this character, but we did look, up, look at it in the last video, and it basically just applies burning, just like every other burning effect in the game. So you can't really complain. Burning is actually pretty good. It has the opponent's defense, which is pretty damn important because that's going to allow you to do more damage. Anyways, guys, aside from that, there's really nothing else to talk about in the game. Um, I know I talked really fast, but that's just because I wanted to cover everything in the game. There was a lot of things going on, man. You got all the messages. You got the free gems, the free rewards, the videos, the ads. You got the artifact talents. You got the new Martian Manhunter character. You got the brand new artifact talents that are different from everything else in the game. So again, there's just a lot of different things that I had to cover. So I apologize if I talked a little bit too quick. But anyways, guys, let me know if you're going to try to get the new artifact reforges. Let me know if you care, if you're excited. Let me know if you want to get Martian Manhunter. I'm definitely excited for all of these different things. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a nice day. Stay safe and stay clean. And I'll see you guys later.